Well, surgeons have a new tool in the battle against cancer. It's small enough to fit in the palm of your hand and powerful enough to save your life. CBS 2 health reporter Dilma Henry joins us now with this really amazing story. Dilma? Carol, it absolutely is. Surgeons operating on cancer patients are now taking something else into the operating room besides their scalpel. It's called the PET probe, a new device that tells doctors just how large the cancerous tumor really is. It can fit into the palm of your hand, but this small device can save your life. If you completely remove the tumors, we know that patients do much better than if you leave anything behind. Oncologist Dr. Richard Esner of the John Wayne Cancer Institute is talking about a new device called the PET probe. It's a miniature version of the PET scan that can be taken inside the operating room to detect cancerous tissue. This uh, technique uses a radioactive sugar that isolates the cancer from other tissues, so you're able to identify um, tumors uh, compared to normal tissue. It's critical to have the PET probe in the operating room since one of the biggest problems surgeons face is getting all the cancer. Oftentimes, a patient's body fat or inflammation prevents surgeons from seeing the entire tumor. One of the downfalls of cancer surgery is we operate on patients, we put them through big operations, and then they have subsequent recurrence or relapse of their disease. And that's because you weren't able to see all of the tumor? Correct. So the PET probe sees what the surgeon can't. Okay, then I'm going to go to the other spot. When it's held on top of the tumor, these numbers shown here change when cancerous cells around the tumor are present. Sometimes we're surprised by what we find, and so the idea of using this probe is try to limit the surprise and being able to identify all the tumors. The PET probe allows surgeons to be much more precise, cutting more or less tissue depending on what the PET probe sees. It's amazing. The pet probe has just become available, and so far it's being used on people with melanoma, breast, colon, and pancreatic cancers, available in just a few hospitals. Harold and Ann, back to you. Okay.